वेलकम बैक टू द सी प्रोग्रामिंग लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू राइट अ प्रोग्राम विद द हेल्प ऑफ विच वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ अ नंबर सपोज वी हैव अ नंबर दैट इज फाइव आवर नंबर इज फाइव सो वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ दिस फाइव वट इज फैक्टोरियल ऑफ दिस फाइव फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस शुड नॉट बी इक्वल टू जीरो इफ इट इज जीरो दैन फैक्टोरियल इज वन ओके बिकॉज द फैक्टोरियल ऑफ जीरो इज वन बट इट इज नॉट जीरो इट इज फाइव हेयर सो फाइव फैक्टोरियल इज इक्वल टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस फाइव we have to multiply it somewhere so we will declare some variable uh, f which will hold the factorial result we will initialize it to 1 so 1 into 5 is equal to 5 so then 5 should be decremented by 1 it will become 4 and this 4 is multiplied to this previous result so multiply by 4 now this 4 should be decremented by 1 it will become 3 and we will multiply this 3 here in variable f okay now it becomes 1 into 5 into 4 into 3 multiply by 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 now we will multiply this 2 here so this 2 will be decremented by 1 it will become 1 and this 1 will be multiplied here this 1 will be decremented uh, and it will become 0 but we cannot multiply this 0 here if i will multiply this 0 the whole term will become zero so we we should take into consideration that this zero whenever the zero occurs uh, by decrementing uh, values we have to stop we don't have to multiply this zero with the product so our factorial should be 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 not zero so this is equal to 5 4s are 20 3 s are 60 2 s are 120 into 1 is equal to 120 so the factorial of 5 is 120 okay now we are going to find this factorial with the help of a program in our program we will initialize uh, f variable f is equal to 1 so that we can multiply our number and decrement of that number to this f and uh, in x we will declare some variable x which will hold the va value of which we have to find the factorial suppose in our case we have initialized it to 5 and we will multiply this 5 to this 1 we have to check we have to check whether this if x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 then we have to give result that answer is 1 because the factorial of 0 is 1 else in our else part we have to find the factorial of number i will write while loop here while loop and in while loop i will uh, write if x is greater than or equal to 1 because it should not be less than it should not be zero because the whole term is becoming zero if i multiply zero with this f now i am going to start to multiply this 5 to this 1 then 4 to this 1 then 3 to this 1 and here it is checking that if it is greater than or equal to 1 it should not be zero so here if it is uh, this condition is true uh, x is greater than or equal to 1 our loop will start and we will update f is equal to f into this x f into x so f is equal to f into x what is the previous value of f that is 1 so f is equal to f into x so previous value of f is 1 into x x is 5 so it will become 5 so value of f got updated to 5 i will decrement x by 1 x minus minus and x will get decremented by 1 it will become 4 After that I will finish my while loop and it will again check whether x is greater than or equal to 1 yes x is 4 and it is greater than or equal to 1 still it is greater than or equal to 1 so I have to multiply f it is equal to f into x what is the previous value of f right now this is 5 okay and I will multiply this 5 I will multiply f into x again so new value of f will be this 5 into current value of x is 4 so it will become 20 okay now x will get decremented by 1 it will become 3 so similarly f will get again this f is equal to f into x so what is the previous value of f that is 20 into x what is x x is 3 so it will become 60 f is equal to 60 okay again value of f will be decremented by 1 it will become 2 is this condition true yes x is greater than or equal to 
1 because it is 2 so we have to multiply f is equal to f into x so f will be 60 into what is x x is 2 it will become 120 f is equal to 120 and x will get decremented again it will become 1 if is x greater than or equal to 1 yes it is equal to 1 okay condition is still true so we have to multiply x into f so 120 into 1 that will become 120 and now f is 120 again and x will get decremented by 1 it will become 0 but the condition is here false because x is x should be greater than or equal to 1 this time it is less than 1 because it is 0 so our loop get terminated and we will print the value of f that is 120 so we got our factorial now i will write a program of this very quickly let me quickly finish this uh, program i will write x comma variable f and i will initialize this f to I will initialize this f to 1 f is equal to 1 and I will give user a message please print print f I will give user a message print the number for which you want to find the factorial suppose I will write enter a number enter a number slash n then I will scan that number and scan it to x here i will scan that number into the x because our x is holding that number person d comma and of x after that i will write if if the value of x entered by the user is zero if x is equal to is equal to zero then what will i have to give user a message printf I have to give user a message that factorial of 0 is factorial is 1 so my this time 1 is holded by this f so I will give it give him a message that factorial factorial is factorial is person D comma f okay and i will enter into the else part because if user will not enter zero user will enter a genuine number then i have to find the factorial for that number with the help of while loop we can use for loop also but i am using while loop while x is greater than or equal to one because user has entered either 4, 5, 6, 7, any number which is greater than 1 or equal to 1. So while x is greater than or equal to 1, what we are doing, we will keep doing f is equal to f, previous f, multiply by x and decrement that x by 1, x minus minus. Okay, at last, but inside this else, not out of this else because this this brace is the closure of else okay before this after finishing my while loop my result will be stored in this f variable and i will print that print f factorial is person d comma so my result is saved in f now I will explain a memory map of this program how it works first I have initialized first I have declared uh, first I have declared the variable x variable f these two variables are declared by me and f is initialized to 1 and I want to find the factorial of number and I am giving user a message enter a number now user will enter a number you can enter user can enter any number I am considering that user will enter 5 okay <coughs> that 5 I am scanning into x variable that is why I have written this 5 here in uh, in x okay now I am giving a condition if user has entered 0 but user has not entered 0 so we will directly move into the else part if user has entered 0 we have to end the program because else will not get executed that time only if will get executed and if is saying that factorial is f and what is the value of f that is 1 so the result is 1 that time but I am entering into the else part where i am writing while x is greater than or equal to 1 my x is 5 it is greater than or equal to 1 so f is equal to f into x 
f is 1 f is equal to new f will be 1 f into x x is 5 that is equal to 5 so it will get updated to 5 x minus minus x will become 4 because I have decremented this x by 1 again this condition will be checked while x is greater than or equal to 1 yes x is greater than 1 so f is equal to f into x f is 5 into x x is 4 that will be equal to 20 so it will become 20 factorial will become 20 and x will be decremented by 1 it will become 3 while x is greater than 1 yes x is greater than or equal to 1 it is 3 so again f is equal to f into x 20 into 3 that is equal to 60 and here result will be 60 f will be 60 and again x will get decremented by 1 it will become 2 again x is greater than or equal to 1 because 2 is greater than or equal to 1 f is equal to f into x f is equal to 60 into 2 it will become 120 so here it will be 120 okay and x will be decremented by 1 it will become 1 x is greater than or equal to 1 yes x is again greater than or equal to 1 it is equal to 1 so f will be f into f into 1 that is equal to 120 f into x okay so here our uh, f will become 120 and x will get decremented uh, decremented by 1 it will become 0 is x greater than or equal to 1 this time the condition is false so it will get out of this while loop because the condition is should be it should be x should be that greater than 1 greater than or equal to 1 it is 0 that is less than 1 okay so factorial so our message will get displayed that factorial is person d of f what is the value of f 120 now we will see this uh, by running our code so i will run it and i will see whether it is working properly or not i will run this enter a number suppose i will enter 5 factorial is 120 suppose i will enter i will enter uh, 0 factorial is 1 similarly i will enter 7 factorial is 5040 okay you can also do one thing you can write a you can write uh, here uh, factorial of factorial of factorial of so far that mm, i have to write x but we have decremented this x here i will show you factorial of x factorial of mm, this person d is person d so the value of this person d is here x comma and the value of this person d is f okay factorial of number whichever user has entered is this but it will not work properly i am saying this it will write factorial of zero is i will show you what is the error it will write here when i will run this if i will enter five it is showing factorial of zero is 120 what is the reason because here x has become zero i have already shown you how x has become zero uh, x has become zero because x has become zero x has become zero because we are decrementing x from 5 to 4 from 4 to 3 from 3 to 2 from 3 to 2 to 1 from 1 to 0 x has become zero in this while loop okay so x here is zero that is why it is writing we are uh, giving x and the value of x has become zero that is why it is writing here factorial of zero is uh, 100 uh, uh, factorial of zero is 120 okay for that we can do one thing we can write here variable n we declare variable n and we will write n is equal to x after scanning this x i will save this value of x into n n is equal to x okay now i will make use of n here i will write factorial of n because n is the number which was 5 earlier for that i will give a message factorial of that number is whatever the number whatever the factorial of that particular number will be suppose i am running this again here enter number i will enter 5 now it is showing me correctly factorial of a number is 120 thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe our channel industry technologies